Hey everybody, this is Matt for the TechnoAx channel with an update for you guys on February 13th, 2015. How are you guys doing? So as always, the music that I produced last week is listed in the description below. Check out what you like and download what you like off of my website. As promised, I did a Valentine's Day track for you guys. It's a bit of a duet between a piano and a violin. I recently got a new piano instrument. I've been trying out the different settings. I think that piano is a really beautiful instrument and it's, it's really good. So good, in fact, that somebody requested a piano-only version and so I obliged and that piano-only version is also listed in the description below. Later on in the week, I actually did a high-tech, more heavy action piece, and a lot of you guys seem to like that. So in the future, I'm going to be doing a lot more of that as well. Don't worry, I'm going to be balancing out that out with the rest of the things that I've been doing over the last few months. And hopefully I can keep the pace that I've been keeping in producing new music for you guys to use and listen to. One of the challenges of doing this sort of YouTube channel is maintaining the balance between consistency and variety of music. I know a lot of you guys are subscribed for the softer, more chill side of things, while other people are subscribed to the more heavy stuff and more serious stuff. And really, I appreciate both sides of the coin. I appreciate all of you guys. So a fellow YouTuber gave me a tap on the shoulder this week. Uh, once again, Jack Septicai mentioned me in one of his comments videos. And so I feel I should basically tap him back and say thank you and uh, uh, say hello to the new subscribers that came my way uh, mid last week. I'm going to very quickly cover a couple basic questions for the new guys that have popped up. And here's a quick tip for those of you guys who are just starting to post videos on your YouTube channels. And when you do this, people will start asking you questions. And that's a natural thing. People are curious about you when you start putting yourself out there. And even if you've already answered those questions, new people will pop up and they will ask you those same questions again. And if that happens, really, once again, it's just a natural thing. And the best thing to do is just show a little bit of patience and not get mad and just answer them or let your audience answer the questions that they already know the answers to. And luckily for me, my audience is really a patient group of people and I really appreciate the patience that you guys have shown the newer people in explaining what my channel is all about and how to uh, basically use my music and cite me and whatever other questions arise. But I feel I should answer some base questions in this video, so here goes. The number one question is, can you use my music? And the answer is yes, you can. For simplicity and clarity's sake, the music that is hosted on my website, technox.com, is licensed under CC or Creative Commons 4.0 license. This means that you can use my music whether they are monetized or not, as long as you provide a citing link to the source of music that you used. This citation can either be a general link to my channel or my website, or it can be a specific link to the actual track that you used in your video. Either or will do, but you may find your fans asking what specific track you used in your video, so it might be easier to link to the specific track instead. And I've opted for a CC 4.0 simply because YouTube monetization process understands CC 4.0. In the past, I had a different procedure that didn't necessarily require you guys to cite me. But in a lot of instances, YouTube rejected that process. And so I switched over late 2013 to the CC 4.0 license procedure. And that's the basic answer to that question, which leads me to the next question, actually, which is kind of the same, but a little bit different, which is, can I use your music in my video game? And the answer to that question is yes. Uh, once again, my music is covered under CC 4.0. And if you provide a link somewhere or a citation to me in your video game, if you've used my music, then you are covered under CC 4.0.
Uh, video games are actually kind of a weird thing for me. It's it's one of those things that I, I admit that I haven't kept track of. Like, I know that people have used my music and people have come, come to my YouTube videos and commented saying that they've played this game and they've listened to my music. A video game with my music was even featured on a Rage Quit video from Rooster Teeth, which blew my mind, but I really didn't expect that at all. I also know that my music was also used in the original mod for the dubstep gun for Grand Theft Auto 4. This was in response to Saints Row 4. Basically they had a dubstep gun there and somebody in the Grand Theft Auto 4 modding community said, hey, let's put a dubstep gun in our video game. And so they did that and they used my music first, I believe. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty 99% sure that they use my music first for that mod. Other than that though, I've been pretty bad at keeping up with what the indie game scene is doing. And maybe that should be a request from me to you guys. If, if you guys are playing an indie game or some sort of video game and you're hearing my music over the soundtrack, maybe shoot me a link and maybe I can start a page on my website keeping track of the games that actually feature my music. I, I'm not really sure what kind of like benefit it would be to the video game scene if that page actually actually existed or if it would benefit me in any way whatsoever but I feel maybe it would be a little bit of a connection to the video game scene or, or the community that's in it and honestly I'm trying to research some ways to kind of break into the scene break into writing music for indie games as maybe a career choice and if that happens I would still be writing royalty free music for you guys I just feel that if I got a job doing indie game music that it would benefit both me and you guys as well it would benefit me in that it would allow me to focus my efforts onto music instead of trying to focus on a job and then music on the side. And because I'm allowed to focus on music, I could also increase the quality of the music that I produce for you guys tenfold. I mean, I would like to drive the quality of my music to ridiculous levels, really. I would like to provide you with the best of the best. I'm not looking to try and do any triple A titles with music. I don't feel that I have a, uh, enough of a resume for producing uh, music for video games to actually do that. But I also feel that the indie game scene is a little bit more flexible and there's a lot more creativity going into it anyways. And so I feel that that would be the best place for me to harness my production skills and also give you a, a great product. For example, I have a lot of VST instruments and a lot of instruments on my propeller head reason. If I had the time to experiment around and come up with a lot more new patches than I already do, then that would benefit you guys in that those patches I could reuse for royalty free music and also practice my music musical composition and production skills, uh, increase my music theory knowledge, be able to push the music to its boundaries and, and present you with more variety and more quality, of course. That's really been my goal all along, is to be able to produce high quality music. If I haven't already displayed it, uh, my passion has been music for the last four or five years and even before that. So that's really the reasoning behind my request for you guys to uh, provide me any sort of links to video games that feature my music. If I were able to get my foot in the door uh, in the indie game uh, development community, I feel that that would be a win-win for both of us. So hopefully that wasn't too big of a request. I, I know a lot of you guys out there are gamers and that your passion is with video games. And for me, I do like video games. I play them and I, I think they're awesome. But my real passion lies in music and I hope I've been able to show that over the last four years. With that, I wanna thank you once again for your support. Thank you for my subscribers and all the new ones. And of course, the ones who have stuck around over the last four years and also my Patreon uh, supporters as well. They are listed on the panel there. I will see you guys next week. Thank you.